Welcome to Morningstar's Manager Checkup for ratings updates from our fund analyst team. Fund managers James Syme and Paul Wimborne joined Joe Hamro in May 2011 to launch the Global Emerging Market Opportunities Fund, having previously been at Bearing Asset Management. Unlike many peers, the approach is driven by top-down analysis of the 23 countries making up the MSCI Emerging Market Index. Their framework produces an overall score for each country, as well as views on the attractiveness of various characteristics. These views then focus their stock selection efforts. The defining characteristic of the portfolio is a top-down allocation, which can be quite aggressive at both the country and sector level. The managers are around 10% overweight in India, where they see a strong trend growth rate as well as the potential for a cyclical recovery. While macro calls can be difficult to get right all the time, the managers have been consistent in delivering superior long-term performance across most timeframes. The fund therefore maintains a bronze rating. Rubico has a long history in quantitative investment and the Rubico QI Global Conservatives Equity Fund is a low-risk strategy led by Pim Van Villet. The time-tested proprietary quant model mainly seeks low-risk stocks as measured by their volatility and distress metrics, but valuation and momentum factors are taken into account. We like the fact the fund goes beyond a standard low volatility approach as it helps curb the risks of investing in stocks with excessive valuation. For example, some low volatility, low volatility consumer staples names have seen their exposure constrained for this very reason in recent years. Recent market conditions haven't favoured this defensive fund as high beta stocks have generally led the market rally. But we're still convinced of the fund's merits, which include particularly attractive fees, and it retains its Morningstar analyst rating of bronze. The Stuart Investors Asia Pacific Sustainability Fund has been run by David Gate since 2005, with Sasha Reddy becoming co-manager in 2011. The approach builds on the house style, which targets high quality companies that offer predictable earnings growth but emphasizes names that are able to benefit from the sustainable development of countries in which they operate. This results in a long-term, low turnover approach. The portfolio will often have a high active share and a performance profile that can differ significantly from its peers. It typically loses less than peers' as down markets, although it can lag in cyclical rallies. Recent performance emphasizes this point to a degree, where last year returns were affected by the lack of exposure to China and tech companies. We continue to have faith in the consistently applied investment process and in the experienced management team, so we reaffirm the Morningstar Analyst Rating of Silver.